What is up, crypto junkies? Welcome to a new video. Ooh, baby, we got some juicy stuff today. So we're gonna talk about Bitcoin and the price action that we've seen. We're gonna talk about Bitcoin Cash and that fork and the dramas that kind of continue with that. We're gonna talk a little bit about some mining. Let's start it off right, though. Uh, let's start it off with some Black Friday to Cyber Monday deals. Understand that in the crypto space, everything will be on sale. Let's talk trading view, obviously. Okay, this is where most people chart. I would say probably 80% of crypto trading traders chart on tradingview.com right now 60% off five more days left five days five hours as I'm literally shooting this it's a Black Friday continued through Cyber Monday Cyber Week type deal and it's a good deal it's the same thing they ran last year and you can pick up I would say pick up the yearly because buying it in the year spurts works out perfect because then you can bridge it from Black Friday to Black Friday deal and it's it's not bad like 60% off like Jesus you know that other 60% you know you can go and uh, do other things with, of course. Who else has got sales? If you haven't picked up your Hasbot, I know that we haven't talked about that in a while, but Haas Online, Haas Online, however you want to pronounce it, they are running a 40% off deal for Cyber uh, Week. Uh, so basically Black Friday, Cyber Monday, Cyber Week. It's like a whole week of cyber deals now, okay? Um, they're running 40% off. I don't know of which licenses, but that is probably the best time to pick that up. Honestly, outside of like a Black Friday deals and like a 30, 40% off, like you're just, you're never gonna see that. I'm assuming everyone's gonna be running Black Friday sales. So if you scoop a year, you can bridge Black Friday to Black Friday deal. Not bad, right? Let's talk about what's going on in the market. We dipped down into, we got a little taste of four, just about 4,000. The wick, I'm looking at it right now, $4,061 on that wick. My belief and what I'm kind of leaning more towards is that that was the, I don't know if that was the bottom bottom, but I believe that we're starting a secondary bear market, which is institutionally driven. They're gonna go slow. They're gonna take their sweet ass time and they're gonna be shaking out. They're not shaking out retail money now they're shaking out whales and holders and they'll let it sit here as soon as it bounces back out of this I, I think it's gonna be in this long horizontal side to side channel between five to six K for as long as they can get as long as they can do it and they're gonna be accumulating massive amounts it's just that we've seen this in the past with other you can go back and study other commodities other uh, stocks you can study IPOs and you see a little bit of flavor and taste of this as well um, this is just what's happening. Interestingly enough, the uh, backed BAKKT launch by ICE got pushed back till January 24th, so right on time. We've got panic selling start, and so let's just continue to add more shit on top. We've got right in front of you, uh, what you see on the screen now is Zero Hedge and Bloomberg both ran pieces within the last 24 hours. Zero Hedge rarely talks about crypto, man. Rarely talks about crypto. So more staged pieces, hit pieces on Bitcoin to further push the price down. Here's a tweet from John McAfee. Go ahead and read that really quick if you want to. This is a little bit off because yeah, Bitcoin Cash is down now 40%, sub $200. ETH is sitting in a buck 30 still, which is crazy. Ripple's holding on pretty strong, which it should be interesting when like everything else is bleeding and your coin isn't, um, especially when you look at a coin like Ripple, it kind of just proves that it's not a decentralized cryptocurrency, but in fact, a centralized cryptocurrency. Definitely one of the lowest losers, if that's even a way to put it. Bitcoin is now, I believe, 20% down. But yeah, it, it bounced back out of that. That was just a wick that touched down into 4,000. What's it at right now? We're floating in 42 to 4,300 right now. Interesting. I, I don't know. I didn't read this. It's probably garbage, honestly. Zero Hedge does good, good stuff, but their ability to cover uh, Bitcoin hasn't really been that great historically. So this is numbers touching all the way from before October 2017. Yeah, it just talks about how uh, Bitcoin Cash was holding on and then finally took a shit which ended up to be about 40%. It's trending around $200 right now. But that's because the drama's with the fork. Continue to claim that major support lies around 4,000, while if broken, 3,000 should mark a definitive barrier. And Fundstrat's Tom Lee told CNBC this morning that he has lowered his forecast for 2018 end to 15,000, though admitted his conviction was low today. It's tough playing a predictor's game, which is why I kind of stopped doing it. With social media now, everyone just wants to chop you down if they don't agree with you. It's interesting times. Okay, there's that piece. Ooh, next, let's talk about the um, Bloomberg 
hit piece. Essentially a bunch of regurgitated, rehashed stuff that is being presented as new on November 20th. I Am Nomad did a really great breakdown. Like look at this threaded conversation he did. Just talking about the languaging, talking about how it's framed and the positioning and the presuppositions that they make. It's it's really, really bad. And Bitfinex received subpoenas last year from the US Commodity Futures Commission. Bloomberg reported in January the Justice Department and CFTC are coordinating their examinations, the people said. What's interesting about when you say something like this is if you put some truths in there and and then you put like a big not truth or like a big generality like this, the people said, the people tend to trust that and believe that because of the supporting uh, truths around it. So it's like a bullshit sandwich. You got truth and truth, which makes the bun. And then you got bullshit in the middle. You can definitely check this out and read this if you want. I think it's interesting to see the tonality that they take. That's what's interesting to me. So now they're trying to frame it like there's this big criminal probe happening on Tither and Bitfinex. Let's talk mining for a second. Um, I've been hearing numbers over the last day, mostly from this chick here, Dovey Dovey Wan, um, who claims to have ties to China. Right now it's their dry season, so electricity costs are really, really high, but she's claiming that the break-even point to run an S9 rig is 3,800. I don't know if that's true, but that's very interesting data to me. I'd love to hear if that's actually true. Really interested to see if that's true, because that would really tell us a lot about where the bottom might be and just how long people are willing to hold in there and mine at a loss. Speaking of mining at a loss, this is a very interesting thread. I'm gonna play this video in just a second. It is fucking embarrassing, man. It sucks when you see people act like this. Like, look at his face. He's so douchey. He just, it's like coming out of him. It's emanating out of him. So what that usually is driven from is a deep level of feeling inadequate in some sort of way. So you need to be validated, vindicated by someone or something. Incredible patience on this guy's part because like, I would have been thinking like, this guy just bounce on me. He's getting up. No, he's getting up to go and get his watches to show you. I don't know that that's supposed to mean that he's got money by showing like three watches from his watch collection. Because the, the whole video, you'll see it in just a second. They're talking about how long can you mine at a loss? But he's trying to say essentially we can mine forever at a loss, which and Jihan and Roger Ver can't. And I just don't agree with that. I don't think that's true. I just think that's his ego. And so his defense to that and reason why he can mine forever is that he's got three watches that add up to two weeks and two days of mining at a loss, and that's just his watches. So, <laughs> I mean, oh, what do you say to that? We all know somebody who's made money that acts like this. In fact, like I never got this bad, but when I first struck it big and I first made had a multi-million dollar year, I acted a little bit like this too. It's just, I think it's kind of normal. I came from nothing, I came from no money, so when I first got it, I thought I was king sh and it just, it took a little while to, of being around people who actually were doing big shit and also to like giving back in like an epic way to the world that I realized like, hey, maybe you're not anything at all, Jay. Like calm the f down and take a seat. Yeah, I think he's a little drunk and he's definitely bragging about like how great he is, how much money he's got and how long they can mine at a loss. Interesting thread. Both sides are starting to talk about it um, more and more but it will be interesting to see when it ends, you know, like how long they can actually still go for, which again, there's still this theory going around that this is all a big stunt because now Bitcoin Cash is just gonna be left in the dust and it's gonna be essentially worthless for these two other highly sketchy coins. Kraken even sent out an email the other day essentially saying like, hey, we're supporting ABC and I believe they're supporting SV as well, but it's sketchy as f is what they essentially say, which is very funny to me. They were using languaging all but that. Like it was very open and revealing kind of uh, conversation about how they felt with these two. And they ended it with a disclaimer that it's extremely high risk, especially with these two, to trade them, hold them and do anything with them. So also too, like where does all the tech, where does all that go? Because we've got like Calvin Air and Craig Wright on the one side, which has N-Chain. And so does that mean all that goes with them and then all the patents? And now we've got ABC has nothing. but. Bitcoin Cash had a ton of adoption, like not a ton, but it, you know, a couple dozen merchants, businesses, platforms that were like integrated with it. 
I'm just wondering how all that's gonna actually shake out. At the end of the day, was this really necessary? I would have really liked if at some point they just sat down and had like a really logical conversation. Even in the midst of like, I, I guess I'm getting ahead of myself. Maybe some of these people, cough, cough, Craig Wright, are just um, uh, that impossible to talk to. And it just couldn't happen. It couldn't work to talk through this logically. I want to know about the hash war, not on, you know, my or your preference. What is going to happen? Um, the state what of is thing. going to happen is we're going to dog their tails until they run out of money. And then they're going to start selling and we're going to dog them longer and they're going to sell and sell and sell. And eventually they'll run out of money. Then we do something. But the ABC side actually has activity. So, I mean, you are you going to mine SV at a total loss until those coins are actually valuable? Um, do you think this is a lot of money? I mean, do you think it's a lot of money to Roger and Jihan? Yes. Well, it's a lot of money to everyone then. No. They're two different questions. How so? Um... Uh, a lot of money to one person isn't a lot of money to another. Well, okay. I mean, can you give us some rough numbers? Like, like how much, how much more money would you say that y'all have on that <laughs> side? All right, go for it. Oh. That's a Hublot Big Bang. That's about a day. That's a 42 per tech. That's two weeks. And that's a gold Rolex. That's another day. Those are some nice toys, Craig. Yep. So, I mean, in the, in the context of what we're talking about, I would say that's pissant money as well. So I'm talking large numbers here. How much more money are y'all willing to spend than Jihan and Craig? Because, I mean, um, a Rolex, I, I mean, those are toys. Well, I mean, why don't you care, though? You just said that you were going to dog them. So how exactly are you going to dog them? Interesting, nonetheless. But that's all I've got for you. Oh, actually, I don't. I lied. Let me headline hunt for just a second. We've got a few interesting pieces. Um, Italian uh, security watchdog ordered cease and desist orders on several crypto-related firms, three of them to be exact, uh, three I've never heard of, for reportedly unauthorized financial activities. That's the, the normal thing that the um, Europe and the United States are going after people for, unlicensed securities. Okay, Trustwave cybersecurity team has reported a case of crypto jacking malware stealing computing power from visitors to the website of the Make-A-Wish Foundation. That's just dirty, man. That one just, just feel kind of gross saying it, right? Make a wish foundation and you're jacking them for mining power? Man. Tom Lee, you already heard it. He dropped his prediction, his year-end Bitcoin prediction to 15,000. Vane chick or Vane, Vane chick, Vanek, whatever. The guys who are filing for the ETF. So a subsidiary has launched a BTC index uh, based on US price feeds from major over-the-counter liquidity providers. I mean, the biggest news is that holy sh the whole market just crapped on us and the drama is still going on with the uh, Bitcoin Cash hard fork. So that's why you haven't gotten much news out of me in the last day because it's essentially all the same sh but just with a little bit more information now. So it's, I don't want to keep reporting on the same thing over and over and over again, even though maybe I should just to get some views. Nah. Okay, guys, that's it. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you liked the video, go ahead and click the like button. If you want to interact with us, go ahead and place a comment underneath the video. And if this is your first time to the channel, click the subscribe button. Go ahead and do it now. And click the bell notification so that you don't miss out on any future updates. Okay, bye.